Hey guys, today we're going to talk about uh, vitamin K1. I've, I've done all the videos on vitamin K2, which is involved in the transportation of calcium out of the soft tissues, out of the arteries, into the bone. But vitamin K1 is just as important for different functions, but they both work together. So vitamin K1 is a cofactor, which is a helper nutrient to make something called prothrombin. Sometimes people think, wow, I don't want to take vitamin K1 because I don't want to have a clot and die of a heart attack. But realize that vitamin K1 also has other proteins. There's many different types or subtypes of vitamin uh, K1 kind of in a complex. There's a protein C and an S which are anti-clotting. So it's not just about clotting. It also helps you break up clots. And vitamin K1 is really, really, really important in making bone. In fact, if you don't have any vitamin K1, it's going to be very difficult to make bone, even if you have calcium or other minerals. There are certain things that block the absorption of vitamin K1. One is if you're constipated. Number two, if you have a liver problem, a fatty liver, you have cirrhosis of the liver, you have insulin resistance, gallbladder problems because you need the bile to help you break down th this fat soluble vitamin, IBS, any type of damage within your colon. Let's say you have ileitis, which is inflammation in the part of the ileum, or I don't know, Crohn's, diverticulitis, uh, can block the absorption of vitamin K1. If you had a gastric bypass, that can inhibit the absorption of vitamin K1 as well. Realize that K1 also helps make K2. It's kind of like a precursor. So your body also has microbes that make the vast majority of vitamin K2. In fact, 75% of the K2 you have is made by your own microbes. So that means if you take an antibiotic or you destroy the microbes, you're going to make a lot less K2. And what are the symptoms? You're going to get, you can get calcification in the arteries. You can get calcification in the joints. You can have bone loss, all sorts of things. Now, the unique thing about vitamin K1, which is a fat soluble vitamin that is different from the other fat soluble vitamins, is that it doesn't get stored. So you actually need quite a bit. All right, so next one, vitamin K1 is very, very essential for bone. We talked about that. And also, if you're on Coumadin, okay, you can't take vitamin K1 because um, you have a blood thinner and you're trying to prevent strokes because that's going to create a problem because where you get vitamin K1, the leafy greens, all those salads that I've been recommending, right? Seven to 10 cups of salad per day, right? But if you're on a blood thinner, you know, you're told not to consume that. But by the way, if you're on Coumadin and you can't consume a lot of leafy greens, I did put a video down below of what vegetables you should be consuming. But another option would be to talk to your doctor about this medication called Eliquis, okay, which would allow you to consume leafy greens because it works at a different mechanism. All right, there you have it. Now you know what vitamin K1 does. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis. How about that?